lawmakers are considering a new tool in the fight against overdoses in Colorado. It's really shocking. I actually took a look at some of the numbers and in 2021, more than 1800 Coloradans died by overdosing. That's a 27% increase from the year before. Denver 7's Brandon Richard digs into a bill that would punish drug dealers for overdoses. And drug dealers could spend decades behind bars under a proposal Colorado lawmakers are considering. The bill would allow prosecutors to charge people with a level one drug felony if a drug they supply causes someone to die from an overdose. If convicted, they could get up to 32 years in prison. State Senator Kyle Mullica is one of the bill's sponsors. And, and people are tired of seeing people die. Uh, they're tired of losing brothers and sisters, uh, aunts and uncles, uh, sons and daughters, and friends. The proposal is similar to a law lawmakers passed last year concerning fentanyl. Mullica's plan expands on that by including Schedule 1 and 2 drugs like heroin, cocaine, and meth. You know, our goal is to really try to make sure uh, that, uh, that if someone deals these drugs and kills someone in our community, uh, that there is a significant consequence there so that that family has justice. Such laws are controversial, and critics say they don't work. The ACLU of Colorado calls them cruel, ineffective, and says they won't stop drug use or save lives. I, I, I don't think it's cruel. I think, obviously, uh, people in our community dying, um, that, that's cruel. And, and it's cruel to them, and it's cruel to their families and their loved ones and their, their friends, and that's what we're trying to stop. Another criticism of bills like this are that people who witness an overdose will be too afraid to call 911 out of fear of being charged. Mullica says language will likely be added to ensure that doesn't happen. So we're, we're working to make sure that, that you know, uh, there's not unintended consequences from this, but we do know hearing from our community that they, they want to see something done. They're tired of seeing people die in our community. The Senate Judiciary Committee will hold a hearing on the bill on Monday afternoon, where lawmakers are expected to hear testimony from people on both sides of this issue. Reporting at the state capitol, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Brandon. And digging deeper into overdoses in Colorado, there is another controversial bill in the legislature aimed at reducing opioid overdoses. House Bill 1202 would allow cities and counties to determine whether they want to allow so-called safe injection sites within their jurisdictions. So these sites would have health care staff on hand in case of an overdose, fentanyl testing for the drugs, and resources for people looking to quit. The Denver City Council passed an ordinance back in November 2018 that would create a supervised injection site under a two year pilot program. But that ordinance is contingent on the state passing legislation allowing Colorado cities to create such sites.